I take this pleasure in welcoming you all to the community of Petersfield. As I said before, welcome you all. House mothers, everyone at the AOC, welcome you all. Association of Clubs, as we call it, is a community-based organization. It started in 1988, and it came out of the disaster of Gilbert. The, before the AOC, the Association of Clubs, we have the Petersfield Sport and Community Club, which started in 1985. In fact, and that was started because of the need to have community development in the community. I should say to you that the Petersfield Sport and Community Club, when I came here, was non-existing. There was no club. And the community was a little volatile. And I decided that I am going to live, and I want to live in this community permanently to raise my children, etc. So I wanted a community that is responsible and responsive to development. In fact, it was called Killersfield when I came here to live. Killersfield. And people were proud to call it Killersfield. I decided that I didn't want my sons and daughter to live in Killersfield. I wanted to have a name. So I started to organize this Petersfield Sport and Community Club. And anything that happened around this area, I know. I can feel it, I can taste it. There was a lady who used to be with us from the Sugar Workers Cooperative days by the name of Monica Frolando, a professor at Pittsburgh University. She came along and she was taking students over to Otto Reyes. And she came along, came back, and saw what I was doing, and told me to accept her student, to show them around in the Petersfield area, to talk about what we are doing. And I tell them what we were doing. And the students saw what we were doing, feel what we were doing, taste what we were doing and they decided that they wanted to be a part of their program. So we wrote a proposal to Pittsburgh, Univer to, yeah, Pittsburgh University with the help of Monica, and it was accepted. And we started to have the first set of students coming here to Petersfield. And this place that we are in now, this beautiful little park, was a dump. This whole area was a dump. People used to throw their rubbish here, and all different type of rubbish. And it used to be giving the, our neighbors a lot of time. Smell was very bad. And they asked us to do something about this area. And what youth draft up that it should turn into a little park, a little mini park, and put in and they put in all these facilities dry, the little summer campers. Say what they would have loved to see in the park. Um, gazebo, flowers, swings and slides, bathroom. A, a little fun food counter and other amenities. And I take it down, I decide that this is my mission now, to go and get it. So that was a five-year plan to get all this in. I was able to done it and to do it in five years with the help of the student coming, the first set of students in 2001 helped to build this park. All these trees and flowers that you see here, they help to plant them, right? And that our village tourism take off from that. And then Amazadi came on board in 2002, I believe. So from that set of students, group of students, you know, we're having now, to this month alone, we have seven sets of students coming here to Petersfield. And we have students from Shippenburg University, from Wyoming University, from um, WVU University. All of them came over the, last, over the year to help to work with the help of some of our um, workmen here. The school is beautiful. So those are some of the impact. Ninety-nine percent of the students that come here get better grades. Hmm? They come with their professors, and they are students at university. So they get good grade, they go over back to the United States. These students become good 
student, become good citizens, get their education, becomes educated. They come back to Jamaica because they know where they get when they were a student here, the benefit. So they, and they also tell their friends. Remember we're talking about coming from one group in 2001 to six group just this month alone. Over 500 people have visited the school. And they go back and tell their professors, tell their students, tell their family about it. When I was a boy, over 60 years ago, I could not touch a white lady, hand and feet and hug them. I could not do it. It, it was forbidden, it was no, no, no. Today, I have taken photographs with over 500 young people. Hug me, feel warm, and our children can do it today. So that is what, that is just what some of the social impact. All I want now is to continue to develop the program. That when I am, I am not around, when I leave permanently, then I know it will be sustained. We have in it now for 14 years, and I want it to continue. We have been sustained and maintaining it, but we have to continue to develop. Mm -hmm.